let's talk about pedophilia, another fun issue. Turns out, as our knowledge of the subject grows and people begin piecing it together, uh, and then I get this from friends, oh, this has been going on for thousands of years. Okay, so now you know about it and you're going to do nothing, right? Like people just say, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, you see someone raping your child and you don't know what to do. Okay, just because it's not your child, I think you know what to do. I mean, we're there, guys. Uh, these guys are flaunting it. We're rubbing it in our faces. They've backed it off a little bit, but overall, they were—I mean, on video, on music videos, in Hollywood. I mean, they were literally rubbing it in our faces. What are you going to do about it? Sexualization of children. Um, stories coming out for decades now. If you just—if you take a good look, decades of stories from the guys that were being raped, from the children, from the kids that are talking about, yeah, child sacrifice and so forth. Because there are pedophiles who are, quote-unquote, just pedophiles. I mean, they're perverts that like small children. And then there are the satanic pedophiles that are doing this because they want power and money and so forth. And it's a club. And if you uh, bite of the forbidden fruit, they will give you everything you want. They will give you money or power or fame or whatever the fuck it is. You want to be a president, you want to be a... Uh, senator, you want to be a congressman or whatever, you want to you know, get in the state legislature, you want to be a judge, you want to be a police chief, you want to be a Hollywood mogul, right? well, actually the Hollywood moguls are, are in there also, but you know, you want to be a star, one of those Hollywood moguls, I mean, it's pretty fucking clear the pedophilia is not everybody, it's not, I mean, it's the elite or like the 1%, I mean, we're talking about the 1%, we're talking about the kings and queens of nations. We're talking about the uh, world leaders uh, and their minions and their courts and, you know, those people, the 1% of bankers. We're not talking about your local banker, although could be, but I mean, you know, not, we're not talking about the guy that at the savings and loan down the street that uh, approves business. No, we're talking about the 1% bankers, the guys that own the Federal Reserve, the guys that, right, those guys. Saturn is their god. The cube. Uh, I've talked about it before, um, but if you look around, you'll see the cube everywhere. And if you understand hermetic principles and you understand some of this uh, dark hat stuff, uh, you realize that uh, there are or black hat stuff, and, you know, the dark side. It's sick and wrong and wrong and sick, and it only gets worse, worse and worse the more you look. Uh, you will be traumatized if you spend too much time looking into this. I mean, literally, you'll be traumatized. You will have PTSD by the time it's all over, especially if you watch some of these disgusting videos. Um, because they film it all. They film it all. Why do they film it all? So that they can uh, make sure that they have blackmail on whoever it is. Wiener had insurance files. Uh, many people have insurance files. And then there are the others that, that's not insurance. It's their, that's their control file, as they call it. There's a word that has entered the lexicon, a control file. What's a control file? Well, that's a file that has all your dirty deeds in one place. All the video, all the phone calls, all the whatever the hell it is that's incriminating. Uh, but certainly they want to get you uh, having sex with children. Ooh, because in our culture, that just doesn't fly. We don't let that go. We don't, I mean, people, t I mean, there are many people that say these people would rather commit suicide or rather bring world war, kill us all, than be exposed as pedophiles. Because in our culture, it's the worst thing. These are child fuckers. These are child rapers. There's no way to put it nicely. Right? Your political correctness is bullshit. YouTube is taking down videos because of this. Right? And then uh, we'll talk about Twitter. Uh, Twitter takes down uh, and bans accounts that talk about Pizzagate and, and so forth. Meantime, the pedophiles still have their accounts up. And these are people that, you know, openly admit, and you know, love is love and so forth. Their accounts don't get suspended. And then uh, Rose McGowan, uh, she comes out and they ban her. They freaking suspend her account? This is a movie star. Like, even I know who that is. And... They just decided that oh they're uh, they're 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 gonna shut her account down for making noise about Weinstein and then you look at who Weinstein's connected to oh my goodness everybody I mean the pedophile problem in D.C. and the pedophile problem in Hollywood are interconnected like this it is uh, a disgusting ugly thing but there is a portion and we need to face up to the fact of our aristocracy, our ruling class, our wealthy 1%, 
that absolutely positively engage in pedophi- uh, pedophilia. And, uh, I mean, we're talking like young, young children, and some of them, uh, a, a portion of those, not all of them, but a portion of those are satanic pedophiles. Yeah, they're next level pedophiles. They're Saturnists, and they sacrifice children. They sacrifice babies. Pure evil. They will have no problem trying to distract from this, because this is another thing. This Vegas shooting, I'm not saying it was a, a false flag in the fact that nobody got hurt, because people got hurt. People got shot. See, because some of the crisis actors would never know to be able to go, did I get hit? Because I've seen that. I've seen guys that have, that have, that they don't know they've been shot. Uh, and they realize afterwards, oh shit, I'm bleeding from over here, not just from over here. Because you, it, in the heat of the moment, and when you got that much adrenaline flowing through your bodies, and that's another thing. That's, a lot of these uh, girls, you see them laughing and so forth. The reason why they're laughing is because they are so pumped with adrenaline and they haven't been hit, right? They, I can tell you, the most exhilarating feeling there is, is being shot at and not getting hit. You can ask any veteran, you can ask anybody that's been in the military, police, anybody. The most, ex- I mean, it's not necessarily a good feeling, but it is an exhilarating feeling. You get adrenaline like you cannot ex- even imagine, because you know that at any moment, one of those things could hit you. Now, they're in full flight or, f- or you know, full flight mode, right? It's, it's the fight or flight uh, response that it is, the adrenaline that absolutely takes the blood out of your brain, but gets your heart beating and stuffs as much adrenaline into your muscles as possible so that you don't get tired and you don't feel like, you know, you need to stop running because you can't even, I mean, on that much adrenaline, amazing things can happen. So you see these people just like full of adrenaline, running as fast as they can to get out of there, gunfire going off around them, people getting shot up around them. Uh, I mean, unbelievable footage of them turning guns on innocent civilians. I mean, unarmed civilians, what's next? And they try to make it into a lone gunman story, so we should give up our guns? I mean, how fucking stupid do they think we are? I mean, some of you guys are just fucking brain-dead stupid. I mean, because immediately, like, within hours, you're like, gun control and gun... And you don't even know the story, right? You haven't even figured out that, oh, wait a minute, this was a false flag. I mean, this was this was obviously multiple shooters all around uh, Las Vegas at multiple hotels. A couple of guys, at least one guy on the ground. There is video that I finally saved that looks pretty much like uh, one of those guys dressed like a security guard opened fire into the crowd because the next thing you see, because he the cam, you know, pretty crazy camera work when you guys are just holding their phone and trying not to get shot and you know trying to keep your wits about you when there's machine gun fire going on is more difficult than you might think. Um, and then it pans back, and there's a pile of bodies right in front of this guy. I mean, you can see the people trying to help them. And you can see when, I mean, this was not crisis actors. Uh, this was people getting shot up. Uh, there might have been some of that in there because they th- they throw some stuff in once in a while to, you know, confuse the issue. But uh, overall, what I saw was looked like real gunshot wounds to me, looked like real blood. I mean, the one guy I saw, he was shot in the arm, and then he realized he was shot elsewhere. And he's like, oh, crap, am I hit? That's not crisis acting. Right? He's like, oh, shit. And then he, you can see the expression on his face, like, oh, crap. Right? I'm, I'm like, you know, getting shot in the arm psychologically is not as bad as a body shot. Anyway, the idea is that uh, this was no lone gunman working by himself alone. This was a coordinated attack. You got the 4chan warning you, oh, he's he was wrong. He, he thought it was going to be September 10th or 11th, somewhere along there. Well, no, it, it took him two weeks, but he uh, named <laughs> Vegas. He named the weapons. I mean, he was getting pretty freaking specific. Um, the fact that uh, 4chan, that's, uh, you know, that's gone all over the place, once again, contradicts the story. Uh, I mean, there is there are so many contradictions that anybody, anybody that is not glued to CNN should have more questions than you can shake your finger at because there is just too much, I mean, just too much uh, discrepancy between the official story and what you see on video and what you can hear with your own ears. And even if you have no military experience, you should be able to hear multiple types of gunfire going off. Um, and you should be able to hear the difference between the echo and the actual fire. And you should be able to hear the fact that, yes, uh, I mean, just take a look at the, the video that's out there, and you can tell it's different types of weapons. 
and there have been lots and lots of military guys coming in. Make I've been listening to talk shows and all kind of stuff. Um, and then you get the shills that are like, "Oh, we should ban AR-15s." What the fuck does an AR-15 have to do with this story? I mean, it's just ridiculous. Uh, and bump stocks and silencers, right? Oh yeah, automatic weapons with silencers. Just imagine if there had been. Si- I mean, this is a woman that has no idea what she's talking about most of the time and for sure has no idea about uh, automatic weapons and silencers. But see, it's, it was agenda. So they've taken to the point, I mean, we've gotten to the point now where, our, you know, factions of our government, whether they're in power or not, but they're still government, you know, deep state, have taken a firing on citizens to push their agendas. This should be disturbing to you. This should cause you to want to take some action. And that action shouldn't be ban guns, right? Uh, but we need to get to the bottom of this one because these are, I mean, the victims absolutely require justice on this one, right? There have been other uh, false flags we've had where I don't, I, I, I agree that it might have been crisis actors and it might have been false flag and so on, but this one was not crisis actors. This was actual people gunned down by evil bastards with machine guns who could fire into a crowd of civilians. What the fuck kind of human is that? Right? I mean, I don't know what kind of money that is or what kind of what it is in your brain that makes you think that somehow <laughs> the what you do in this simulation will determine what happens in the next simulation. And what you have done in this simulation has made it so that there are very very few places that you can be placed in the next simulation. Anyway, the idea, guys, is you need to take a good look at the current events because a lot of this current event, like I'm going on about Vegas, but why? Why? Uh, because if you'll notice, at the time, every Democrat bullshit narrative was falling apart. Their Russia story fell apart. Hey, what about the Russia story, by the way? Russians, Russians, we are Russians forever. Uh, I mean, story after story after story was falling apart for the Democrats. And for that narrative, Antifa and the South and the tearing down, I mean, it was just falling apart that, you know, that they weren't fascists and they were, you know, somehow, you know, pro- protesting free speech rallies. Like, I have no agreement with uh, skinheads or the KKK, which, by the way, was started by the Democrats. Um, but I'll tell you what, they have the right to speak just like I do. Right? You may or may not agree with what I have to say, but still, in the United States, I have the right to speak freely. So do those guys. These guys are going to come out and say, I mean, and like I said, I strenuously disagree with them, but let them speak, let them speak, let them speak. They're never going to turn me into a Klansman. They're never going to turn me into a neo-Nazi, and I'm pretty sure they're not going to turn you into one either. But they go out there and want to peacefully protest, and then they get attacked by the anti-fascists, who are the most fascists. You're wearing hoods and put it, right? More Democrats in hoods, this time black, Right? Anybody that knows the Democratic Party is as par for the course for the Democrats. And that's why any educated niggas out there aren't Democrats, right? You sheep are waking up left and right. I'm starting to see it all over the place. Seeing it here on YouTube, seeing it on Gap, seeing it all over the place where uh, black folk waking up to the fact that Democrats ain't your friend. They never been your friend, never have been your friend. Right? That guy comes out and says bullshit like, oh, the Democrats gave you the right to vote. Bullshit. Not one Democrat voted for that. Not fucking one. It was all Republicans. All of them. I mean, I mean, the Democrats haven't been this pissed off about their pedophilic, satanic, loser, cunt, bitch uh, losing office, right? Not being able to make it into the presidency. They haven't been this pissed since the Civil War. Right, since the, since the Republicans tried to take their slaves away, and we saw what happened with that, right? Those Southern Democrats, uh, and now it's the same damn thing. They didn't get their way with Hillary Rodham Clinton, a person who is uh, absolute right. Negroes are super predators, and in her state, they started building prisons and on and on, so that when she got the laws passed that made it so that Negroes uh, would get three times the sentences of the white folk, uh, they had the prisons there ready for them. You can go look that up in Arkansas. She also was served by some of those inmates, uh, basically slaves, and slave labor at the uh, White House. Uh, don't even tell me about, uh, you know, like Hillary Clinton is going to prison. Promise. Like, there are too many people that hate her, and she's involved. I mean, how many more? Silsby, Weinstein, her own husband, 
Cosby. I mean, name the people that in Hollywood that are pedophiles and uh, donors and so forth, and Hillary Clinton's always in the mix. And rapists, Hillary Clinton's always in the mix. Weinstein and, I mean, oh my God. And then, you know, Clinton showing up with uh, the grand dragon of the Ku Klux Klan, who just happened to be a senator, Byrd. Um, her buddy and pal, make no mistake, the Democrats are still Democrats, and they're always going to be Democrats, and my love for them is nil. I have no love for Democrats. Never have, never will. Even my own mother was a Democrat, and we used to argue bitterly at the kitchen table because uh, she was an educated woman and she could make an argument, which is why I am able to make an argument, because uh, died in the wool Democrat and absolutely... Uh, could not see or understand that these were not good people. Never have been good people. Uh, their political correctness is just fascism light. That's the, what is it Carlin said? Fascism uh, posing as manners or pretending to be manners. That's all it is. They're fascists. They've always been socialist fascists. They've always more for them, less for us, uh, in, under the guise of helping people. Right? Their programs where they line their pockets like crazy. Right now, pharma is wealthy beyond measure because of the Democrats and the Republicans, make no mistake, government in general, the rhinos. Uh, but they, I mean, they've managed to get mandatory vaccination going in uh, California where the Democrats are, have a stronghold. And in Sweden, hmm, we can't do uh, mandatory vaccination because the public health risk is too great. But here in the United States where pharma and corporations rule and they rule via the Democratic Party, uh, and look at how much money that pharma gave to the Democrats. Well, now they're giving it to the Republicans because you know they don't care who's in power or they don't you know whether it's Democrat or Republican. They just want people that are sympathetic to their cause and will write law that makes them money. Uh, Republicans are quite willing to do that. And so are Democrats. Uh, and you see the result in our country. One in sixty-eight has autism in this nation. Uh, it goes, you don't think you're ruled by satanic pedophiles? And it's not the satanic pedophiles that own these pharmaceutical companies that uh, keep marijuana and uh, cannabis is the better name from being in the hands of the people. When you see the cures that this thing does, I mean, you can now there are pages and pages and pages on Facebook and Twitter and other places, other social media, uh, Pinterest and etc where they have pages and pages dedicated to the cures, not the treatments, the cures that marijuana has given, right? Cannabis cures, absolutely, right? They named it marijuana to scare you away from those dirty Mexicans and guys that look like me use marijuana, right? You wouldn't want to use that marijuana. So what you want is uh, alcohol <laughs> and cigarettes, and uh, that's the good stuff. And then, you know, of course, if it's got a prescription on it, that's cool too, right? So have your Oxycontin. Uh, it's just crazy. It's and again, bombing children in the Middle East for decades now. Uh, you don't think we're ruled by satanic pedophiles? You don't think satanic pedophiles have a hand in the suffering and misery in this country? Because that's what they do. That's the Satanism. You can't see the uh, the average sheep in this country cannot, and it's a good thing, cannot even conceive of this evil, because it is anathema to them. They have no idea that these people actually exist. And that these people are sacrificing babies and making policy decisions and making sure I mean, th their religions are used against them, their good nature is used against them, and in the meantime, uh, they get away literally with murder and rape and pedophilia and the most atrocious and disgusting things while these people vote for them unwittingly. Right? Because they cannot conceive that their masters or that these guys that they're voting for uh, could possibly be this evil. But... Uh, evidence shows you that they lied. Walter Cronkite looked into the camera just like I am and he knew that the Gulf of Tonkin was bullshit and sold that war and millions and millions died because of that. Right? 10,000 of our guys and millions of others were dropping bombs like crazy over there. All based on lies. Same thing in the Middle East. All based on lies. These children are being turned to paste and then in I mean, literally turned to paste. And in the Iraq and, oh my God, Libya, all over the place, we're using uh, the depleted uranium rounds and the soldiers are coming home sick. Uh, people are aborting babies like crazy. In I mean, these are people, that Muslim women, that would never abort a child, and they're aborting a child because the birth defects are just 
beyond your comprehension. Let's put it that way, because of this uranium that the great Satan has sprayed all over the Middle East, but particularly in Iraq. And we're looking to do it in Iran, and it looks like we're going to war. Here are my predictions. Think we're going to go to war with Korea? Yes, I do think we're going to go to war with Korea. Uh, the lull before the storm. We are in it. And then comes the storm, probably in the spring. And then comes an economic storm uh, in the fall. If we don't get one this month. I have, I, I, this is the month for it to happen. I would expect that... Uh, we get through this one, actually. There's been a lot of predictions that we won't, but I'm pretty confident that, uh, being a contrarian, that actually, yeah, we're going to get through this year. There might be a little bit of a, you know, a little a little rough water here. But next year, we don't get through. I don't see how, uh, I mean, Chicago's about to collapse. Puerto Rico already couldn't even make interest payments on their loans. Uh, Trump decides, or, you know, says something crazy, like, we should forgive all their debt. And the bond market is like, you can't do that. I mean, straight up. Uh, you can't forgive all their debt. And uh, Obama's cronies and a lot of the people in the Federal Reserve were just like, um, uh, 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 we cannot forgive their debt completely. Um, and I mean, it's billions and billions. Chicago, they won't even be able to pay the pensions for their firemen, police, any of the state workers, any of the civil servants, any none of you guys, none of you guys getting your pension. If you think you are, you're dreaming. Uh, again, satanic pedophiles. Oh, and especially in, in Chicago. Oh, my God. Uh, and what did they do? They just raided and raided and raided. They have raped this nation. And where did that a lot of that money... Imagine if we had spent the trillions in the Middle East here at home. We'd have pristine, clean water. We'd have rail systems second to none. We'd have on... I mean, the, the list goes on. But nope, we spent it on war with your tacit approval. Uh, Democrats, where'd you go? Uh, what happened to the anti? It turns out you weren't anti-war; you were just anti-Bush. Right? As soon as Obama started making war, you guys just shut the fuck up and let that magic Negro do his thing. The banker boys loved him. Of course, the first black president didn't get assassinated because he was their boy. Oh my God! And pedophile on top of everything else, look like it. If not pedophile, then for sure gay. But I mean, they got. It doesn't matter now who gets into office, uh, except for this oddball Trump. They usually have more stuff on them than they can shake their finger at and bring them down at the tip of a hat. Uh, Obama was like that. Bush was like that. Clinton was for fuck sure like that. Poppy Bush was one of the string pullers. Uh, another one, Reagan. I mean, it goes on. I mean, just, right? They don't let anybody into that office uh, who they don't have control files and paperwork on. I can't believe they don't have it on Trump. But it looks like uh, Trump was, I mean, I, jury's still out for me on that guy. Is he a good guy? I don't think he's a good guy. Uh, billionaire, part of that 1%, and not a pedophile? Hmm. Okay. Uh, you know, because when he was going into office, there were charges uh, against him, and they were all summarily dropped as soon as he became, uh, when it became obvious that he was going to be president. Uh, but, I mean, I don't think he's squeaky clean when it comes to anything. But at the same time, and see, this is a, uh, he looks like he, he may be in there. See, it's like the enemy of your enemy is not necessarily your friend. A lot of these, a lot of you guys think that Trump is the enemy of your enemy, so you're, he's your friend. He's not your friend. Um, but it does seem to me that he's trying to figure out how to take these pedophiles down, and I don't see how he's going to do it without uh, damaging some pretty close friends of his, because Pence is also collect, connected to uh, the pedophile crowd. Uh, and then we've got this attorney general that just, you need to put a gun in your mouth and pull the trigger. A lot of you FBI guys, the same. Especially you guys in the FBI trying to float this crazy story that it was a lone gunman in, in, in uh, Las Vegas. And then you return people's phones with all their data wiped out. You fuckers. Really? So basically you're part of the thing. right? You're part of it. Uh, a lot of these guys, part of it, uh, we can't, our attorney general cannot, I mean, video, it's on video. I'm pretty sure he's seen the video. Still does nothing. Got New York police officers, seen the video, right? I mean, grown men, sick into the, they're sick into the core, still doing nothing. Still letting these pedophiles go, right? Because that's the way it's been for the last couple thousand years. So now that we know, we don't know what to do, right? You absolutely fucking know what to do. I mean, if you don't know what to do, kill yourself. Because if that was your child, you'd know what to do. So just because it's somebody's el somebody else's kid doesn't mean you don't know what to do. 
It just means you're scared to. It just means that you don't have the cojones to stand up to these guys, and you guys actually have been issued weapons and badges, and yet you don't know what to do. Oh, it's not that easy. Yes, it is that easy. These are children we're talking about. These people are raping and killing children. Nobody is going to prosecute you if you fly off the handle and kill one of these pedophiles. Nobody. Nobody is going to be looking the other way if you have evidence on video that you can blur uh, against these people and you bring them to justice. Nobody. People will get your back. Promise. Because they're not all... See, this is the thing. They don't know who to trust. Right? And on top of that, it's that no one would believe us thing is still very, very, very ingrained in these guys. But you got video now. Right? You got their emails. You got their own words. You can hang them with those. And again, nobody, and I mean, not like that guy that like, you, the guy was raping his daughter, his teenage daughter, his young teenage daughter, that girl wasn't even 15 years old, and he beat that man to death with his bare hands. Ain't nobody charged him with a fucking thing. All right. Same thing. These, I don't care if they're Republicans or Democrats in high places. Ain't nobody going to charge you with nothing for bringing these guys down. Although, a lot of us have completely and utterly... You marshals, you U.S. marshals, what the fuck? You guys got... I mean, nothing. Nothing. Really? Our marshals, our Secret Service, our FBI, all of you guys. Oh, my God, you know about it and you do nothing. And some of you guys actually fucking wash the door. Make sure nobody... Oh, man. Like I said, we will not be kind... And it's not going to be one of those things that it just goes away. So many of my friends are just sure that, uh, okay, they're convinced that, yes, there are pedophiles and, yes, there's a problem. But, eh, nothing's going to happen because it's been going on for thousands of years. Okay, so now that you know something about it, I uh, encourage you to do something about it. Even if that something is make a video like this or maybe put your pen to paper and write your congressman. Handwritten is better than typed, by the way. Uh, and write your congressman. We know about the pedophilia. You better fucking do something about it. Uh, write your local judge. Hey, and who might be involved. Uh, write your fucking local congressman uh, at the House, at the, I mean, at the state level and at the federal level. Write your senator. Uh, whoever the fuck your parish leader is. Uh, you got an alderman in your fucking community. Go talk to him so that he can go talk to somebody else. Uh, this does not stand. The Koreans put three million people in the streets in Seoul, and they tried to water that down, but that was because she was a pedophile, a Satanist pedophile. And they knew it, and the Korean people woke up to the fact, and they were in the streets the next fucking day. Here in the United States, uh, because of political reasons, and because Democrat-Republican, these baby rapers are going to fucking rape the shit out of a bunch of children coming up at the end of this month for Samhain. Uh, there is all kinds of fun uh, Satanic rites coming up here as we head into the solstice and so forth. And this has been going on yet another fucking year, and you guys do nothing.